Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving one or more steps routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of decimals and mixed decimals using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. What is a routine problem? Routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? Non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. These are the steps in solving routine problems. First, we should understand the problem. In understanding, read the question twice or thrice, then know what is asked and what is or are the given facts. Second, formulate a plan. In planning, consider the following. Know what is or are the operations to be used and what is the number sentence. The third step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. In solving, show your solution and level the final answer. Lastly, we're going to check or look back. In checking, go back and check the flow of your computation. This is our first problem. Joy bought a shoe's worth 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos. If she gave 2,000 peso bill to the cashier, how much is her change? Our first problem is a routine problem. So, we're going to use the four-step plan. First, we need to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is the problem asking for? Yes, the problem is asking for the amount of her change. Next, what are the given facts? Alright, the given facts are 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos. This is the worth of the shoes. And 2,000 peso bill, she gave it to the cashier. We already understand the problem. The next step is, we're going to make a plan. So, what is the operation to be used? Alright, the operation to be used is subtraction. What is the number sentence? Okay, the number sentence is 2,000 pesos minus 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos is equal to N. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 2,000 minus 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos. Make sure that the decimal points are aligned. So let's subtract. 0 minus 5 cannot be. We borrow 1 from non-zero digit, which is 2, and 2, it becomes 1. Then all the zeros, except the last zero, will become 9, and the last zero is 10. Okay, let's subtract. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 9 Minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then don't forget to put the decimal point into our difference and the peso sign. Therefore, the change of joy is 500 pesos and 5 centavos. Alright, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check your answer by repeating the calculation. 
This is one way to check if your answer is correct. This is our second problem. Lisa used red and blue ribbons to wrap a gift for her mother. The red ribbon was 4,500 meters shorter than the blue ribbon. If the blue ribbon was 897,000 meters, how many meters of ribbon did she use all together? The second problem is an unroutine problem. Let's use an illustration to help us visualize and solve the problem. It is said that Lisa used red and blue ribbons to wrap a gift for her mother. The red ribbon was 4,500 meters shorter than the blue ribbon. The blue ribbon was 897,000 meters. The question is, what is the length of the red ribbon? Alright, to get the length of the red ribbon, we're going to subtract 897,000 meters and 4,500 meters. So we're going to add 0 to the empty place value. So let's subtract. 7 minus 0 is equal to 7. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Then copy the decimal point and 0. Therefore, the length of the red ribbon is 447,000 meters. The question is, how many meters of ribbon did she use all together? So, how are we going to get the answer? Yes, you are right. We're going to add the blue and the red ribbon. So, the blue ribbon is 897,000 meters and the red ribbon is 447,000 meters. So, let's add 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. 4, regroup 1. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13, plus 1 is equal to 14. 4, regroup 1. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12, plus 1 is equal to 13. 3, regroup 1. 1 plus 0, plus 0 is equal to 1. Then copy the decimal point. Therefore, Lisa used 1 and 344 thousandths meter of ribbon. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With that, mathematics may not teach us how to add love and subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.